Let's start this lesson by selecting our hosting plan. So first of all, you want to scroll down until you see this section. And I guess I will select premium shared hosting plan for this course, because as you can see, we will get unlimited number of websites and it's going to be very useful if you will decide to host multiple projects, let's say multiple websites using this hosting. Also, you will get unlimited email accounts, unlimited bandwidth and all other perks as well, which will be very useful. So let's add it to the cart. And as you can see from here, we can select a different package. So as you can see, there is like one month package, 12 months, 24, 48. And I guess I will select 12 months package. And from here, as you can see, there are like some other features available. If you want, you can add daily backups. As you can see, it's going to cost you about $1 per month. So it might be a good choice for a beginner. But I usually never choose any of these extra features because uh, usually I don't really need them. So let's add a free domain because with this, hosting plan we will get a free domain so just gonna enter a random domain name to see if it's available and like I mentioned you before I highly recommend you to choose TLD which is .com because it's the most popular one and it's the most recognizable so just gonna choose .com and let's click search if this domain name is available it should be added to my shopping cart all right perfect it's available and as you can see it was added to my shopping cart and it's going to cost us just zero dollars as well I highly recommend you to choose this option it will hide your personal information from your domain name and uh, because you want to keep your personal information private and it's just going to cost you five dollars per year so i highly recommend you to choose this option because i always choose it myself let's go to checkout section and we can enter discount code by clicking right here let's enter it it's uh, wp10 and let's click apply it and that's great as you can see we got almost $15 discount so from here checkout procedure is very simple and I'm just gonna skip to other part so once you finish the whole checkout procedure and you logged into your Hostinger account in the home section you should be seeing these three things uh, that you have a shared hosting plan you have a SSL certificate and a domain uh, you shouldn't be seeing all these other things these all free and this one these are other projects of mine so first things first we should set up our hosting to do this click here so let's click start now and uh, you can choose what you want to do maybe you have a website and you would like to migrate to hostinger if it's your case you should click this one but since we are creating a new blog I will click here build a new website so we have some different platforms available let's say if you're planning to create e-commerce website with WordPress you should click this one but since we are creating just a regular WordPress blog we're gonna select WordPress all right so here you should add your email which will be used to log into WordPress dashboard and set up your password and once you finish just click continue if you will use any of these templates, depends what type of website you're planning to run. It might be much easier to create your website and you would save some time. But since we are creating WordPress blog from the scratch, I don't want to use any of these templates. I'm just going to click right here. And from here, we have to add a domain name to our hosting. So if you added a free domain when you were purchasing your hosting, it should be added right here. But if you have another domain, let's say you have domain on GoDaddy, you can click right here, select, and you will add uh, your domain. Since I already have a registered domain name on Hostinger, I'm just going to choose this option. And right here, you should add your details. And once you have completed this, just click finish domain registration. And from here we can choose our server location. So if you are wondering which server location you should choose, actually it's very simple. Let's say majority of your traffic is going to be from United States. So obviously you want to choose server which is located in United States. And the same applies for any other location. Let's say majority of your traffic is going to be from Europe. So you should choose Europe. So basically if the user is closer to your server location, the website is going to load a little bit faster for him. So that's the point of choosing server location. In this case, I'm just going to leave as it is. I'm going to choose Europe, Netherlands. Once you have chosen location, just click select. If you want, you can fill up the survey, but I'm just going to skip this part. So it says your website will be ready in a few moments. Just wait a couple of minutes. Website should be finished very soon. All right, as you can see, it says your website is ready. So basically with a few clicks, we created our website. All right, but just before we log into our WordPress admin panel, we should install SSL certificate, the one which we got for free. So we should go back to control panel. Let's click right here and here click domains. 
So before we can install our certificate, we have to complete our domain registration. Just fill up all the information and click setup. And after you have done this, just go back to control panel and you will see this message that the main status waiting for activation. So you should wait until this message disappears. It might take up to one hour or maybe a little bit more. And after you refresh the page, it should disappear. So, all right, once you don't see any messages anymore, we can install SSL certificate. So to do this, scroll to the bottom until you see SSL. Click right here and you should see this option. Click install. After the all installation is complete, you should see this window and it shows that you have a SSL certificate. But before we can go to our website, first of all, I would like you to go right here, click on WordPress and select dashboard. And if you see the option force HTTPS is inactive, you should activate it. Once you have done this, we can go and check our website. If you did everything correctly, you should see this gray padlock next to our domain name. It indicates that our connection is secure and our website has SSL certificate.